Hey Shara, it's me. I'm showing you leaving my house. I'm about to walk out the door. I'm walking out the door. There's the bicycles. I'm going to lock my door. Not that I probably really have to do it, but I might as well. And grab the cigarettes. Across the street there is the Prime Minister's house that they really don't want to sell. It's not nearly as large as it really looks. So this is the little road across the village. Nobody uses this side of the road, so it's not terribly worn. There's the house I live in, Bob and Martha's house palm tree, and the parrot tree. And that's the Consejo Library. So like I said, not a lot of people uh, use that part of the road since nobody lives in the house there. And then this section of the road is completely overgrown by trees and other stuff. Although you can tell it's more traveled because there's a couple of houses, two, three houses along here that people drive to and from to get in. And I'm walking in real time, so I guess I could have sped the video up some. I'll remember that for my next video editing project. But I'm walking slowly and normal. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. So there's a big gate there under the palm tree. You can see half the gate is open. There's a little house there. And this is the road headed more or less south. If you keep going down this road, you would get to the two little restaurants and the little store. That battered flag waving there is either a UDP or a PUP flag. The uh, political parties hang up their flags. So the house that you see there on the left, or now right in front of you, is the house I was talking about. Doesn't look like much, but it's got good windows. Obviously they need windows in them, but the frames are good. And now I'm back at the house. That way is south. That way is toward Patrick's house. That's the neighbor's house, and then now in the center of the screen is the house I was talking about yesterday. You can see there's two windows there on that end of that L shape. And I guess there's five windows along the front. And they cut down all that tree growth um, that was <laughs> growing next to the house had wooden shutters at one point, as opposed to glass windows. But you see there's two windows there on the side of the house and a back door. I'm carefully going across there because the stuff's about eight inches deep. And then there's three windows on the back of the front of the house. That's the neighbor. And then there's some stuff back there. I'm not sure what it is. So I'm sneaking into the house, looking forward in the house. All the pillars and beams and walls are structurally sound. Two windows at the back. All those holes you see across there are basically to get rid of heat. Um, the hot air rises and goes out toward the ceiling. Um, 
we have air conditioning, obviously we plug all that stuff and put all actual windows in. And again, the beam is good. Here's the bathroom. Yes, that, that would be a tree growing in the bathroom. And that giant tub, I really can't describe how big it is. It's like five feet by five feet. Um, and then you can see the tree and it needs to be removed. Um, I have a feeling that tree was growing as of rel relatively soon or recently. Go back toward the back of the house. It's the tree next door that's growing into the house. And I'll go out the front door. I came in the back door, but I'll go out the front door. And that's the neighbor across the street. Two chickens. The neighbor's two-story house. That's the front of the house again. Okay. Now I'm walking north. That's across the street from the house that I just showed you. This is walking back from where I came, where I turned earlier. If you look straight ahead in the video, you can see the, the water. It's the house I showed you a little bit earlier with the uh, the big gate that was partially open. That's a house there. I know that. And a lot that's for sale. All of it's just kind of jungle. So I'm showing you walking distances. So it took about less than two minutes to get from my apartment to that house. And that's going to take me you know, about two minutes or so to get from that house to the water because I'm in the shade, the bright lights from the water uh, kind of create a glare there. Oh, there you can see the water. So that's looking basically due north. You can see Mexico across there. To the west there is just more of the village, more rural area. All of that property is Casablanca, the large hotel property. It's for sale for $550,000, down from $800,000. The lot on the right, left side of the road is also for sale right now because it belongs to the people who own the hotel property, but they're trying to sell everything they own in Belize because the, apparently the husband died and the wife has lost, lost her faculties. But yeah, the tide is way up right now. You, normally you don't have water coming that far up on there. It's all mangrove, and if you look just in the middle of the picture, you can see that big white thing in Chetamal. Sticking my head in the gate to that hotel property. It's their dock and Palapa, more Palapas there, the big hotel. It's two stories. It's probably 10,000 plus square feet, I'm sure. Now I'm walking south again, back to the crossroads. Headed east. All the property on the left side of the screen is Casablanca, but quite a distance. <laughs> a lot of open space on this end, and then you can see the building coming up. And their property, and it's like four, five, six palapas on that piece of property. 
flat roof with a deck around it. There are a couple of houses here to the right, but they're far enough back you can't see them. back of the hotel. That's the, actually the back of the kitchen there where that overhang is. And there the hotel. And the Coca-Cola sign. Apparently they didn't want a Belican sign, so they took a Coca-Cola sign, although the signs are all made by the same company. And the big gate, Casa Blanca. I don't know the last time the hotel was actually operational, and I really don't think it would be viable as a business. That's that's the house I live in. That's Bob and Martha's house. That's Consejo Library again. That's Bob's truck.